Baldrick. This is Mr. Doug Ducey. Thank you for being the first AZ Strong Person of the Month and spending time with me. Thanks for having me, Julian. I'm very happy to be here. You're welcome. These are questions I came up with, but my daddy helped. My favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate. What's yours? Well, my, mine's chocolate, but I like uh, chocolate devotion. That has some brownies and nuts and some things that we put together at Cold Stone, but I pretty much like anything with chocolate in it. Yeah, that sounds like my new favorite. <laughs> I would rather work at Cold Stone than be governor. Why do you want to be the governor of Arizona? Well, I just think, you know, this is the first open seat for governor in 12 years in this state. Uh, I love living in Arizona, but I think we can do so much better in so many different areas. And I want to kickstart our economy. I want to fix our K-12 education system. And I want to bring my, my background in business uh, and a fresh energy to the governor's office. And I think that someone from the outside can make a big difference. Good. Will your wife and kids call you governor? <laughs> you know, with this campaign's been pretty tough, I might have my boys start calling me governor, but uh, they call me dad or daddy, and, and I, I like that quite a bit. Okay. So, why should people vote for Doug Ducey instead of someone else? Well, I think I would like people to vote for me because of my real-world experience. Uh, I built a business. Uh, I've been the state treasurer for the past nearly four years, managing $12.5 billion of taxpayer assets. I think by anybody's measurement, those dollars are growing faster and in better condition today than they were four years ago. But most of all, I'd like people to vote for me because of the plans that I have to get our economy moving. We're talking about opportunity for all. I'm running to be governor of all the people, Julian. Wow. So, can I come to your election party when you win? I'd love it if you'd come. It's, uh, but, you know, I have to win first. But you can come uh, the night of the election. Uh, have you ever been to an election night festivity? No. Yeah. It's really quite something to see. Uh, and we're going to work really hard over the next 15 days to uh, be successful and to make it a celebration. Good. I go to Jacobson Elementary. I like it. But people say bad things about Arizona schools. Can you help make them better? The governor can do a lot to make the schools better. Uh, we have three of the top ten public high schools in the country, more than any other state. So what I want to do is take the best practices at the finest schools and reapply them. It's not just Arizona schools that have it some issues of underperformance. This is happening in schools across the country. So we know how to educate a child here in, the, in Arizona. We want to do it more often in more classrooms. I want to focus on teachers and children in the classroom and make sure our parents have quality choices. Good. Easy Strong is about building a stronger Arizona that people love more. How, how can you help the state and local businesses like mine be successful? Well, a governor can do a lot to help the prosperity of a state, uh, and that really is my focus, is our economy. I want to focus on our tax code. I want people to imagine an Arizona where existing businesses are growing and where out-of-state companies look to Arizona as the perfect place in which to do, do business. This has employers putting out help-wanted signs so people can find a job that can turn into a fulfilling career. So I want to take the ideas from other states that are outperforming Arizona economically and apply them to the state of Arizona. Wow. I do karate at Cajun Kembo, Arizona. My instructor, Professor Kelly Corder, wants to know, what's the first thing you'll do as governor? Well, the, the first thing I'll do as governor is I want to move some of the ideas I have around getting our economy moving forward, improving K-12 education. And I want our, our young people to understand what makes us special, different, and unique as Americans. So I want, uh, I want our high school graduates to pass the American Civics Test. This is so they'll know a little bit of American history and know what their responsibilities are as a citizen in the state of Arizona. Great. I think people should be in Arizona legally. What can you what will you do to fix this problem for the people here and the people who want to live here? Well, I agree with you, and I think the good news is is we still live in the greatest country in the world, and people from all over the world want to come to our country. So I want to make sure that we have some security on that border. I think that's a national security issue, and as governor, public safety is a top priority. So I want to stop the guys that are coming over here and trying to sell drugs or doing things like human trafficking. The governor has a $300 million budget for the Department of Public Safety. The governor can work with county sheriffs and county prosecutors to make sure that the law is enforced and that our fellow citizens are safe. 
good. What does AZ Strong mean to you? Well, to me, AZ Strong means a healthy, prosperous state that's growing, a place where people want to move from across the country, come here for our quality of life, and then they want to contribute. They want to be part of our economy. They want to be a good citizen and a good neighbor. Wow. I wasn't allowed to vote for you because I'm only eight. But since I'm a CEO, I elected you as the first AZ Strong Person of the Month. How does that feel? It feels great. I'm very honored to be the first AZ Strong person, and I want to congratulate you on being a CEO at age eight. And it won't be that long until you are voting. You know, just one short decade from now, you'll be voting. Thank you. Now, I'd like to give you an AZ Strong t-shirt and one of my business cards and some shirts for your family. Sure, I'd be honored, and I'd proudly wear it. I've got three Good. boys of my own, you know. Wow. I've got a 17-year-old, a 15-year-old, oh. and an 11-year-old. Oh, so here is your shirt. Did you design this logo, logo, Julian? Well, me and my dad worked on it together. Th is that your business card? Yes. That's awesome. CEO, AZ Strong. Boy, I really like that shirt. Thank you. I'm going to wear it probably. What size is that? Men's large. Perfect. Perfect. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Good luck. Is go good luck as Governor Ducey. Well, thanks a lot, and you got to come on election night. Uh, and if I'm successful, you got to come visit me in the governor's office. Is that a deal? Yes, yes, it is. Thank you, Julian. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you.